I think it's really cool. Good educational uh, thing to do. We are on the Morris Reserve. That's uh, part of the Sugar Creek Bellbrook Park District. And we are doing an archaeology field school through Wright State University. We teach students how to be professional archaeologists. But also, this is a research project. And so we are researching um, the Morris family and the Morris farmstead here. You know, the deeper you go, the more of a chance you have at finding something older and more unique. So that kind of keeps you going on to the next one and, and trying to clear everything out. They're getting a very good experience and they'll be ready for the field if that is what they want to go into. Training that will help them be archaeologists when they graduate and also just working with the public, right? We're at the Morris Reserve here and, and we're right on the trail and so hikers come by and talk to us all the time. <laughs> he thinks that that is probably some kind of a, a barn for the horses and uh, but this is cool. I hope they can preserve it. Lantern hardware, that's a possibility. It's rewarding. It's, you know, at least we're not out here digging for nothing and, and we're able to uncover a lot about the history of the site. It's hard, but uh, the reward is definitely there. A lot of students are not quite so lucky to get the skill sets that you get from Dr. Green in his field school. So it's really an awesome experience. And they probably dug this pretty early on, you know, probably before the Civil War. One of the neat things is, especially in the 19th century, a little saw blade. They were making all these different kinds of farm tools. So this is good evidence that we're inside the 19th century stable. Could be like a door latch maybe. People haven't used them in a hundred years. It's a challenge to try to figure out what the thing was used for. I think it's broken but you can see the head on it there. We're finishing there up is. on this site but we've made a lot of progress. Overall I think we've done 14 test units and maybe 30 something shovel test pits. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears has gone into this. 